Hi everybody, today's session four of our theme Mini Beast Bob and today's Mini Beast that we're going to be learning about is the Ladybird. Doug is going to take us on an adventure around the house to find facts about ladybirds. Dougie, you need to find clues about ladybirds. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. This way. Yes, one. Next one, go. your room. Look where your books are. Where's Dougie's books? Three. Now where's Dougie's big picture in the hall? Where's Dougie's big picture? Yeah. Now here. Can you find one by your big picture? And then one in Mummy's room. Maybe not under Mummy's bed, Where? maybe on Mummy's bed. Is it on Mummy's bed? On her. On. Yay. Should we do our learning then? Yes, on the bed. Okay, let's see. Let's do our learning. It says, ladybirds live up to a year. Ladybirds can consume, which means eat, 500 aphids in its life. So it can eat. Oh, sorry, 5,000 little flies. Are you listening, Doug? Yeah. A, la a ladybird spots warn attackers that they taste horrible. Ladybirds aren't all red with black spots. They can be different colours. And ladybirds are beetles, not bugs. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Spend some time with your family or friends getting to know these facts. Now we've learnt some facts about ladybirds, today's challenge is to create a really cute picture of a ladybird. We're going to start off by drawing a huge circle. Next we want to draw an oval shape, roughly in the centre of our large oval, on the left side just as shown. And we want to draw it on a slight angle, just as you can see me doing here. Sketch a curved line from the right side of our oval to the right side of our circle and then erase the section of our circle highlighted in green. Sketch another curved line, this time from the top of our oval shape curving up and then down into the right side of our circle. Draw two small circles inside our oval shape and sketch a sideways V-shaped line at the outer edge of both small circles. Then go ahead and thicken up this V-shaped line, the top section of both circles, and give our ladybird some eyelashes. I typically draw three to four, but you can draw as many as you'd like. You could even leave them out entirely if that's what you wanted to do. Next, we're going to draw a smaller circle inside each small circle, and then another two even smaller circles inside each. These tiny, tiny circles will give our ladybird's eyes some highlights, so it's important they be completely white inside. Go ahead and erase everything inside them, shade in the very centre section of both eyes, and give our little ladybird a super cute smile. Sketch a slightly curving line from our ladybird's head to their body, and then draw ten short, curvy lines just as shown. You may want to pause the video here to get a really good look at this next section. It looks complicated, but it's actually just a bunch of triangular shapes or cones. And as you can see, four of them are missing their tops. So to make this easier, draw six of these cone shapes and erase the sections you can't see here. Easy, right? Draw some circles and half circles on our ladybird's wings just as you can see here. You can draw as many as you'd like or keep it simple like I have. 
And last but not least, give our ladybirds some swirling and tennis. Here's Mrs Seymour's final piece of work and I've even added some of my facts that I've learnt.